the heat for the exceptional Thomas Hearns. It's a 12-rounder and Andries taking the fight to Hearns. He might look a bit clumsy, he might look a bit awkward, Dennis Andries. But those big right hands, crude though they may appear, can be mightily effective. Just ask Tony Simpson about that, or JB Williamson, the man he took the title from last year. And Andries, certainly not overawed by this intimidating atmosphere against the local hero, Hearns, in the opening round. Hearns caught him there, though. I think you can expect to see Andries taking a few punches, but he prides himself on his conditioning, and he prides himself on the solidity of his chin. Coming towards the end of the first. Andries holding on. Hasn't thrown that right hand yet to uh, Tommy Hearns, has he, Terry? It seems like it's cocked. Uh, seems Dennis is having problems at the moment, trying to match him with each other. He's holding a good punch there. Okay? Well, he threw it there, and Andres in the second round holds on. It was cocked, it was ready. He carries a gun, does Thomas Hearns, as part of his job as a police reservist here in Detroit. And he's thrown some big bombs here. And these are desperate moments for Andres already in the second round. He's got to hold on here. He says Hearns hasn't got the armory to hurt him, but he's certainly finding out the hard way. But he won't back off, Andres. But Hearns picked him there with a terrific shot. I said, I thought uh, Dennis had chances because I doubted Hearns' power as a light heavyweight, but he's already vis visibly actually uh, hurt him. He's had to hold on. Now, I think I've seen a cut on uh, Thomas Hearns. He was badly marked up in his last fight here against the middleweight Doug DeWitt. I think it's on his left eye. And I think the same place he's cut, he is, down the side of his left eye. What action in these first couple of rounds. Andres on the receiving end. But he's cut Thomas Hearns, and that will encourage him. And it looks a nasty one. Yeah, full turns now to try and go for an early finish, and it may uh, be the Dennis's benefit, providing he can get through the early onslaught. I think Hearns claiming there he was butted. The referee Isaac Herrera, 65 years old this week, will have none of it. Well, that cuts open again. And Dennis, who, although he's had a very hard career, is a large part of that career was strictly an undercard fighter, strictly an opponent. <laughs> Two Puerto Ricans and uh, one from Mexico. And although Dennis is rallying and is trying to rough Thomas Hearns up, Dennis Andrews from Hackney in North London. And Hearns clowning away a bit there. I think he's trying to confuse and bemuse Dennis Andrews. Well, there came that right hand. He landed it, but a uh, little bit... And another big right hand. Born in some very uh, unlikely places, Newport, Barnsley, Birkenhead and Southend on his way here. And now he's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tremendous Thomas Hearns. And he's cut him, and he's given him a very awkward fight, and he's taking his best shots as well. That could do the, uh, make uh, Hearns' eye worse anyway. Landed a couple of good shots there. Andres. And certainly, Andres has improved that jab with his American trainers. Hearns getting to work downstairs as he said he would. And they're going together in there, really, like a couple of stags. But Terry, do you feel he's hurt him yet? Do you feel he's hurt Andres, despite the fact he's landed? Yeah, definitely. Dennis has been hurt by him, but uh, having said that... The eye of Hearns looks to be deteriorating but Andres is still the man on the receiving end despite his bravery by far the biggest purse he's ever received around about 200,000 pounds and of course if he beats Hearns who complains of a low blow there and he's doing a little bit of moaning out there a little bit of frowning and a bit of moaning and Dennis Andres might just like that that's true earlier on he complained about Andres' head and now he's complained about a low blow and I don't think it's a good sign for a fight to uh, complain to the referee. 
Now, I suppose in football parlance, you go and play an away game, the first thing you want to do is quieten the crowd. And they're not making too much noise at the moment. 10, 11,000 people who really love Thomas Hearns, but they realise he's having a rough, tough maul out there. Because the Motor City Cobra has got him with a right hand. Oh, he's got him with a right, and that did hurt. I thought he was going to make it. Now he's, I think he's beaten. He's in trouble. Box on, says the referee. Now, can he survive this? That was a big right. He's in desperate trouble. This has got to be the end of Dennis Andrews as the world champion. Or has it? Down twice in the six. Trying to clear his head. He, he won't survive if the ref allows it to go on. There's no way I'll survive. Down for a third time. The three knockdown rules does not apply. Burns says he's won it already. Andres, what a brave man. He's up again. Box on. He's gonna... He's gone though. He's surely gone badly here, Andres. But what bravery. He's going to hang on and hang on. Backed away into his own corner. Hearns pouring on the punches. The crowd on their feet. Andres, how is he staying on his feet? How is he staying up there, Andres? They're both down nearly. Not a knockdown, that one, says the referee. He's bought a bit of time, I suppose, as Andres. Well, I don't see how Dennis could possibly survive this. And, uh, you know... He's, he's, he's only going to get hurt like this. Well, it's instinct keeping him going, but there's a world title at stake. He's holding, I suppose, his corner. Must be hoping he's going to make it back. Hearn senses the world title at his feet. And Andrews is clinging on to him round his legs now. He's bought precious seconds. Hearns, merciless like he was against Duran. But the crowd have now been ignited. Oh, he stopped another big right hand there, has Andres. No one has ever done this to him. Only a, a heavyweight, David Pierce, has ever stopped him. Has ever knocked him out, I should say. And he's standing up there. How has he managed to survive that, Terry Marsh? Uh, I still think he has yet to survive it. Uh, he's only going to go into a lot more trouble. Well, I'll tell you what. You've got to credit Dennis Andrees for being able to go back to his stool. Well, is it beyond him? Another big right. Pace has uh, slowed down quite uh, dramatically with this round. I think Ernst is still trying to get his breath back as well. Back comes Andres with a clubbing right hand. He's right above us here now. And can you believe it? He's taking the fight to Hearns. Well, they love a battler in this city. There's a big fist of Joe Louis just outside the arena here. And Andres, who said before the fight, Hearns cannot hurt me. He's mad taking me on. Now very definitely knows that he can. But look at Andres, who would have expected him to be on the front foot? All right, missing. But at the state he was in in the last round, to be taking the fight to Hearns is a great achievement. Well, the right hand came in there. If there's any bravery titles, I know that which man would win it. Yeah, absolutely. Having a torrid time against Thomas Hearns, down four times, Andres. Largely because of Hearns' right hand. And being a great credit to his game. I think he might have something else in store for Andres, because he desperately needs to show that he is powerful and he can stop bigger men. That is to get back in the big time. Clubbing right hand from Thomas Hearns. really because he's still a hungry fighter. Hearns frowning there. 
Burns has picked up something like 18 million dollars, I think, in this game. And Brees has still got yeah, to do his earning. Right hand he's taken. And Hearns is getting through again. Big punches again. And Brees, that was a slip. That was a through the photographer's lenses almost there. No count. But it's still a very, very hard round again. Down four times in the six, and Rees. And now Hearns wants to finish it here. Pouring it on again, Hearns. Big right. And Rees holds on. Bravery and application goes to Andres. The class and the brutality to Hearns. As if to say I'm not finished yet. Gets through with a left and gets caught again with that nice. lethal right hand. And another one. one. It's, it's well, one way traffic all the way. It's, he's somersaults when he wins the world title, he somersaulted it straight back up and he's ready to go again. Jack in the box stuff from Andres. Five times he's been on the canvas, five times he's got up. Stopping another big right here. There could be a fitting that the referee should move in. He's in awful trouble now, Andres. Oh dear. Where's Kent Walton? I think I think Dennis's corner should rescue him. He's got an impossible situation ahead. There's no way he's gonna stop once. What's this say to you about Thomas Hearns, the light heavyweight, Terry? Uh, well, he's showing immense power. Uh, his power is only matched by Dennis's bravery, unfortunately. That cut. But uh... oh, he's got him with a the left there. I thought he got him with a left he hand did. there. He, he caught him with a punch. I'm quite sure of it. <laughs> is there a count there or what? No counts. I thought he got him with a good left hand. I, I thought I said a left hand, unless it was wishful thinking on my part. Andres isn't gone yet by any means. And, uh, well, I certainly thought the referee should have looked for a count in that one. Oh! Dennis on his back. I'm getting a count for that. Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, dear me. He stopped him. He stopped him now. Well, pure exhaustion at the end of it. He went to the wrong corner. Look at the elation from Hearns. I suppose a merciful intervention. But Hearns has won a third world title. He rules Detroit. Dennis Andrews' world title has gone in the bravest possible circumstances. He pushed Hearns all the way.